Ron Paul spoke to Larry King about Mike Pompeo and Gina Haspel and a variety of political issues, mostly the neocon war hawks who have now taken over Trump's administration. Uh, check this out. There are a bunch of parts here that are fascinating. After repeatedly saying that he deposed former CIA chief Michael Pompeo as secretary of state, your son, Senator Rand Paul, voted to confirm him. Were you surprised at that? Did you talk to him about it? No, I don't, I don't talk to him about what he does. He has his reasons, and they're never easy. I've been there, and uh, he certainly had a lot of criticism about him. He's still concerned. He's still concerned about who's going to run the CIA. But I personally haven't talked to him. But I think that, uh, you, you know, that uh, at least he called attention to some of the shortcomings. But it's pretty difficult to fight something where the everybody's ganged up against you and you know you can't win the fight, so you have to play your cards the best you can. But uh, I, think, uh, I think he's done a good job in pointing out some of the problems and shortcomings. I, I don't think uh, Pompeo is going to do a great service uh, for our country. I think he's, he's way too hawkish for libertarians. You know, he's, uh, he's, he's looking for a fight, and he wasn't a very good protector of civil liberties, so he could never excite me to be you know, a, a, a strong supporter of what he's doing, like so many conservatives are. Okay, you mentioned the CIA. Gina Haspel is scheduled to appear before the Senate Intelligence Committee this week. Apparently, there's a lot of controversy surrounding her. What do you think of that nomination? Well, I think it's horrible because I think she truly was involved, uh, you know, with the with the torture. I think, matter of fact, I'm cynical enough to think it's probably still going on, you know, although. Uh, although uh, Obama tried to do less of it, and probably is, but I think they're more cautious. But torture has been around for a long time. I think it's despicable, and I think her, she's, she was too close to it, and she, she too is similar to, uh, you, you know, Pompeo on the, on the policy. It's, it's aggressiveness, it's interventionism, uh, warmongering, as civil liberties don't mean a whole lot. So I would, uh, I don't think, I don't think the country's better off with somebody like uh, Haspel in the CIA. Matter of fact, there are many of us who believe that uh, the, the whole nature of the CIA, this whole idea of secret government, where they can get involved in uh, the overthrow of governments, and a matter of fact, I believe assassinations in this country, too much secret government, it contradicts everything a libertarian ought to believe. Damn. There's a lot there. There's a lot there. He just said he th he thinks the CIA maybe did assassinations in our own country. Never mind the proven ones that have been done um, overseas. I guess he's he's referring to JFK. I mean, I I would think so. It may maybe other um, assassinations as well. I'm not sure, but damn, that's a that's a former senator saying the CIA did assassinations probably here. And he's also implying there that, you know, hey, the real conservative position is to abolish the CIA. Is he doesn't like secret government. He doesn't like he doesn't like government, but definitely doesn't like secret government, definitely doesn't like um, you know, an unaccountable government. So and this is why Ron Paul has always been a really uh interesting character. And in many ways he's been somebody who uh people on the left can align with much more than any other elected Republican out there, is that at least he's uh, consistent in his belief system. So when he talks about how he wants small government, he doesn't just mean let's cut back on the social safety net and welfare, although he does mean that, but he also means let's cut back on uh, military spending. It's way too much military spending, and we need to have a smaller military. So, you know, I may disagree with him on the first part of that, of cutting the social safety net, but I, he's reliably on the proper side of the other side of that, which is, let's reduce military spending. So he's a very interesting character. He's been a fighter for uh, civil liberties. He's been consistently against torture. He's been consistently against war. So, and even when it comes to drug issues, he thinks that they should be legalized. So, you know, in many ways, there was more of an alliance that you can make with libertarians than you can make with any of the other run-of-the-mill Republicans who, you know, say they love small government, but then when it comes to military, they love big government. When it comes to corporate welfare, they love 
writing those checks to their CEO buddies. And Ron Paul does not like doing that stuff. But it is really interesting to hear a former senator say, hey, we should probably get rid of the CIA. And he also said he thinks torture has been going on all along, that it never really stopped, and it probably was kicked up now even more under Trump, which I think is definitely true, because Trump bragged about it on the campaign trail. He said over and over, I'll bring back torture, I'll bring back waterboarding, I'll bring back a lot worse than waterboarding. Like, he's pick he picked Gina Haspel, I don't think despite her torture record, I think because of her torture record, I think that he wants somebody in there who would torture. So, and Pompeo, same thing, Pompeo's pro-torture. Pompeo um, is pro-war, uh, and Pompeo said openly that we should execute Edward Snowden. It, it's putting it lightly to say he's not a big defender of civil liberties. He's openly hostile to the idea of civil, liber civil liberties. And the, the final point here is, Rand, daddy's upset with you. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't say it directly there because it's his son, but... There's a lot of hints that are dropped there. He's like, yeah, I know it's difficult. I know it's hard when everybody's lined up against you, uh, you know, to, to, to do the right thing, basically. So with Pompeo, he caved, he caved. He brought up some of the issues with him in a, in a hearing, but then he caved. He caved and went back on what his principles are, his so-called principles are. And that's the point. Rand Paul is diet Ron Paul. He's not Ron Paul. Ron Paul was a... Um, you know, a down-the-line libertarian in many respects. And Rand Paul is a wishy-washy, fair-day libertarian. He's libertarian-ish, but when you talk to actual libertarians, they're like, you're no Ron Paul, son. You're no real libertarian. Step the fuck aside. So they're really angry with him, and I think it makes sense. I think it makes sense. You know, I didn't think Ron was calling out Rand there until the second part of the back and forth with Larry King, because that's when he said... He talks about Pompeo and how terrible Pompeo is, or excuse me, he talks about Haspel and how terrible Haspel is, and then he says, well, Haspel's like Pompeo. And again, you have Rand Paul who just caved on Pompeo and said he'll, he's in favor of him being Secretary of State. So that's his way of saying, yeah, I'm not going to directly criticize my son, but then in the next answer, he's like, you know, Haspel's really terrible, just like Pompeo. Which is Ron Paul's way of saying, I would not vote for Pompeo, and of course I disagree that my son fucking caved and voted for, for Pompeo to be Secretary of State. So, all I know is Thanksgiving dinner is going to be a little bit weird this year, you know what I'm saying? Because Ron Paul, he really believes all the libertarian stuff that he pushes. And to have his son cave and support a total, you know, total hawk, neocon, anti-civil liberties buffoon... Just because he got, you know, he got word from Trump and Pompeo, like, it's okay, we promise we won't start any more wars. Yeah, th that's the same thing fucking John Bolton said, and a week later we were bombing Syria, as soon as he became a top national security, national security advisor to Trump. So, don't fucking trust these liars, that's what they are, they're liars. So hopefully, behind the scenes, Ron gives, uh, gives Rand a little bit of a course correction and a little medicine over his ridiculous uh, diversion from what he says his beliefs are. That's not the right way to frame it. Uh, but you know what I'm saying. His ridiculous cave from what he says his principles are. Clearly they're not your principles because you just voted for somebody who represents fundamentally the opposite of what you say you believe.